Hey guys, so this is Bring Back the Farm, and I've been working on my basement this winter, and I wanted to go over a few things that I've learned, uh, specifically around my electrical. A few things that I wish someone would have told me. I've, I ran um, 12, 12 2 to all the outlets, and 14 2, oh, except for this outlet, that's, that's 14 2. But all of the other outlets were 12-2. You can see all my outlets around here. They're all 12-2 wire. All the lights are 14-2. And then, um, but a few things that I learned after talking with the inspector and stuff. Oh, I passed my four-way inspection, so everything that I've done here is good. It's all in the clear, so that's, that's a good thing. Anyways, the first thing is make sure you put in these little adapters first. It was a pain, pain in the butt uh, to have to do after the fact, which is what I had to do. So that sucked. So put those in. They're cheap. The second thing is here where I have all these wires sticking out. Um, the inspector said he, he passed me, but he said it would have been better if I would have bunched these together and tied it up. It would have been better, but he said this was fine because uh, my fire blocking is holding it in place pretty firm. Um, the next thing is with the electrical is down here with the electrical box, you have to put in a staple within six inches of the box. So it secures the wire in place so it won't get bumped and moved and, and uh, cause problems. So that's uh, a few things that I've learned. Another thing is you can't put a receptacle in with your HVAC system. Learn that. Oh, here's another one. If you cut a hole in your stud and it's a little too close to the outside, I think it's like an inch and a half or inch and a quarter or something, then you have to get a nail plate. And uh, that, that just protects from the sheetrock screws. But this is Bring Me At The Farm. Wanted a quick little update about my basement electrical. Thanks for watching.